Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going to Q1 of the Bi Weekly Contest 141. Oops. Construct the minimum bit rise away one. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, this one, um, it is the same problem as Q2, except for the constraints are a little bit different. We'll go over that in a. We'll go over the more difficult problem in Q2, that video. For this one, we'll keep it uh, on an easy problem. And there are a couple of ways you can do it, really. Um, the key thing to know is that n is, uh, or the, the number is up to a thousand. So even if you do just a hundred times a thousand, is a hundred thousand, that's going to be fast enough. Um, I actually end up just doing it with a lookup table and taking a good amount of time as a result. Um, but I just didn't want to chance uh, timing out. But you can brute force it for this one anyway, right? Uh, but the, the idea behind this lookup table is that I just brute force, okay, for every i, we do i or i plus one as they tell you in the, in the thing. And then, um, and then I just put in the lookup. And then when I, if it's in the lookup, we, we use it. If it's not, then we use negative one. Um, and then we return the answer. Notice that I made no observation about, uh, what this formula means. Um, and you know, as a easy problem, I, um, you know, take what they give you. And what I mean by that is just do the thing that works, right? And for this one, you look at constraints, um, it looks okay. And I have done no analysis on this problem, right? Or on the observations, and that's the way it should be. Um, yeah, if, if you're looking for something deeper, uh, check out the Q2's video, because, well, for that one, you need to know this, that one. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, you can watch me solve a live in contest next. All right, I registered this time. All right, double problem. They seem to be Q1 and Q2 seems to be double, except for uh, the range goes from a thousand to a hundred to ten to the nine. Okay, let's actually read the problem. <laughs> okay, the n prime numbers. The bitwise or of the do is equal to numbers of i. Okay. All right. So it goes up to a thousand. So we do something like um, mm -hmm. is it the smallest? Oh, okay. I'm not awake yet. negative this is kind of bad code uh, eh. uh, okay and now q2 is the same except it's 10 to the 9 Thanks for watching everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, everything in between. My explanations are pretty good. Uh, yeah, stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.